The Secret to Success: A Daily Routine for Learning English Effectively. Greetings, language learners! Welcome to today's episode of our English Learning Podcast. I'm so happy you're here. If you're excited to learn English but not sure where to start, don't worry. You're not alone. In this episode, we'll talk about something very important for beginners: making a personal English study routine. A study routine isn't as scary as it sounds. With a little planning and fun, you'll learn English faster than you think. A study routine is important because it helps you practice English regularly. This is better than trying to learn a lot all at once. Think of a study routine like a road map. It gives you a structure so you can learn English in a consistent and easy way. Regular practice will make your language skills stronger, just like going to the gym every day makes you stronger. Imagine learning English is like putting together a puzzle. Each day you practice, you add more pieces to the puzzle. This means you'll make steady progress and finish the puzzle faster. A study routine is like a road map that shows you where to go each day, making learning less stressful. In short, a study routine is your key to learning English quickly and easily. It helps you make steady progress and have a more fun learning experience. To make a good English study routine, the first thing you need to do is set a goal. Let's talk about how to choose a goal for your English learning journey. Setting clear goals is a great way to stay on track with your English learning. It's like having a map that shows you where you want to go. Goals give you a direction and help you stay focused. Clear goals are important because they give you a specific target. This is like a finish line in a race. It motivates you to keep going even when learning is hard. Goals also help you see how much progress you've made. To set effective goals, be specific. Instead of saying, "I want to be good at English," specify. I want to have a five-minute conversation with a native English speaker in three months. Specific goals serve as a map, detailing exact steps to take. Begin with achievable objectives and gradually aim higher, similar to climbing a ladder step by step. Set a time frame to create a sense of urgency, preventing procrastination. Remember. It's okay for goals to evolve as you progress in your learning journey. To succeed in your English learning journey, setting goals is essential as they will guide you. Now let's discuss the necessary tools and resources. Selecting appropriate study materials is crucial. Choose resources that match your learning style and proficiency level. For beginners, start with foundational materials. Such as beginner-level English books or language apps, diverse resources, books, apps, videos, and podcasts can make learning more engaging. Remember, mastering English involves reading, writing, listening, and speaking. So use materials that cover all these skills. Numerous resources are available online. Such as Duolingo, BBC Learning English, and YouTube, or at your local library. Numerous language learning applications such as Duolingo, Memrise, and Babbel can make mastering English enjoyable. The key is to identify what suits you best, as each individual's learning journey is unique. Don't hesitate to experiment with different resources to find the most effective ones for you. The right materials can significantly enhance your learning experience. Once your study materials are in place, 
The next step is to design a study schedule aligned with your lifestyle and goals. This schedule acts as a roadmap, keeping you organized and on track. Choose a consistent time in your daily routine for distraction-free study, whether it be morning, lunch, or evening. Integrate this into your routine as you would brushing your teeth. Start with manageable study sessions of 10 to 15 minutes daily, gradually increasing the duration as you become more comfortable. Instead of lengthy study periods, break your study time into smaller intervals, such as 15 minutes in the morning, at lunch, and in the evening. This keeps your learning fresh and engaging. Tailor your schedule to fit your daily life and commitments, ensuring it suits you perfectly. Utilize the study materials mentioned earlier in the podcast to maximize your progress in learning English. Finally, adhere to your schedule consistently, similar to regularly watering a plant to foster growth. Having established your study schedule, our next focus is on tracking progress and maintaining motivation. It is crucial to practice the language akin to learning to swim. You must immerse yourself, not just read about it. Practice is essential for fluency, much like learning to play a musical instrument requires strumming, not just reading music theory. Here are some engaging methods to incorporate language practice into daily life. 1. Engage in brief conversations with friends in English. Even a few sentences can be beneficial. 2. Keep a diary in English to express your daily thoughts. 3. Utilize language apps that offer interactive speaking exercises, simulating a language partner. The key is to use English in real-life situations. Similar to learning to ride a bike, you improve by pedaling, not just reading the manual. Remember, it is perfectly acceptable to make mistakes along the way. They are part of the learning process. Consider when you learn to walk, you stumbled but did not give up. Similarly, Practice, speak, and write to strengthen your English skills. Now, let's advance to two crucial steps. Tracking your progress and staying motivated. These are essential for maintaining your momentum in learning English. Tracking your progress is vital as it serves as a map, showing your improvements and areas needing attention. Start a journal to note new words sentences, or summaries of articles you've read. This diary will be motivating to review. Periodically take language proficiency tests or online quizzes to measure your achievements and identify areas for improvement. Set milestones such as having a 10-minute conversation with a native speaker within three months to mark your progress and celebrate accomplishments. Staying motivated is essential, as learning English is a marathon. Reward yourself for reaching goals to keep your motivation high. Small rewards can make a big difference. Whether it's simply enjoying a favorite snack or watching a movie in English, Another idea that excites me is finding an English learning partner. It's like having a workout buddy, but for language learning. We can encourage each other and share our progress. Just imagine the fantastic feeling of achieving your English goals together. It's similar to daydreaming about a vacation or visualizing success, both of which can really boost motivation. Speaking of motivation, it's normal to have ups and downs. I like to think of it as similar to the weather. Some days are sunny and others are cloudy. The key is to keep going, even on those cloudy days. Tracking progress, 
Celebrating achievements and staying motivated are essential on this exciting English learning adventure. Looking ahead, I'm excited to discuss the importance of staying consistent in my learning routine. Just like watering plants regularly to help them grow strong and healthy, consistency in learning English helps me grow stronger in the language. One approach I've considered for staying consistent is to integrate English into my daily life. Setting reminders on my phone and writing sticky notes to prompt study sessions could be really helpful. Consistency is not about studying for hours every day. It's about making English a regular part of your life, even if it's just for a short time. Like drops of water filling a bucket, small consistent efforts add up over time. It's okay to have off days or busy periods where you can't study much. Life happens, and that's completely normal. What's important is getting back on track when you can. So, whether it's sunny or cloudy, make a habit of practicing English regularly. Consistency is your secret weapon to becoming a confident English speaker. Keep at it, and you'll see fantastic progress. Thank you for joining us today on the Learning English Podcast. We hope you found these insights helpful as you embark on your English learning journey. Remember, it's not just about the destination. It's about the exciting path you're on. The end. Hope you have enjoyed the reading. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And find more fascinating and exciting stories from the description below the video.